Hey guys, Osagic Kickass here, and we are back with another video. And we are back with a video from a channel I've never reacted to before. So we are reacting to Freshy Canal, I believe it is. Uh, I've had a lot of uh, people in the comments asking for me to do this, and uh, the last few videos, Pringleton, who's uh, one of our watches most of my videos, uh, so shout out to you. Uh, it's given me a lot of suggestions, so. Yeah, shout out to you. But yeah, he actually suggested doing Mr. Burns versus Donald Trump. So I thought it sounded good. Uh, from what I can tell, it looked a bit like um, ERB. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to do it. So let's get straight into it, guys. <laughs> What's all this like Middle Eastern music about? The do -do 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 -do. It's a bit weird, but, you know, I like the little coin jingle as well at the start, because they're both obviously billionaires. <laughs> the Simpsons background, the clouds, and then the, the American flag for Trump. Nice. Oh. Oh, it's getting a bit more intense now. <laughs> I love that. Art style. I don't know who's done that. If they've got someone to do it, or if it's just he does it. But that art style's sick. I like that. That's so good. I'm building my rap structure, and it's going to be huge. So obviously, Donald Trump says um, it's going to be huge. Everything. It's going to be huge. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be the best. And that's what He just says that about everything. But then obviously I'm building my rap structure. Obviously I'm going to build a wall. It's going to be huge. Mexico are going to pay for it. I think that's what that's a play on then. Uh, and then I'll alienate an alien when I deport this yellow juice. Obviously the whole Donald Trump's a racist. He's going to deport everyone meme. That's what they're playing on there. Um, but Mr. Burns isn't Jewish, is he? I'm pretty sure he's not. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain he's not Jewish. Maybe he's not even got the traditional, like, stereotypical Jewish features, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, maybe it's just showing how intolerant he is to uh, people of other cultures. Possibly that's what they're playing on there, but... Yeah, nice little flow early on. Nice little... Nice little beat, I like it. If you're messing with the president, you're going to get sued. So, if you don't know, Donald Trump has a bit of a, uh, a a little bit of a hard on for suing people. Anyone who slates him, he sues him. He's very he can't take criticism well. So, um, if you're messing with the president, you're going to get sued. Don't believe Ebenezer. He's fake news, old news, and fake news. So, there's two things I take from this. Either he's saying, um, don't believe Ebenezer, like Ebenezer because there was an epic rap battle, Donald Trump versus Ebenezer Scrooge, which I am actually going to react to close to Christmas. So he's either saying, don't believe what he says in that, because he's old news, he's fake news, don't listen to him. Um, or he's just saying, he's calling Mr. Burns Ebenezer Scrooge, because obviously they're both quite old, older gentlemen, have no respect for their employees, and are billionaires. So it's either, well, very, very rich. So I think he might be playing on that, or maybe he's playing on the ERB, because uh, I think... I think um, people are saying they're a lot like ERB, so I'm assuming he draws some sort of um, some sort of like inspiration from him. I'm sorry if you can hear this noise in the background, guys, as well. I've been I've been doing this like all day. I've been ready all day, and then I start recording, and they decide to start doing the gardening at four o'clock in the afternoon. Fantastic, but yeah, let's <laughs> continue. Well, do you? I love the gays, the best kind of people. Um, no, you're um very, very intolerant. Very intolerant. Also, what is this going on at the side? This newspaper. Um, something about Batman and Skinner. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. So I'm all for the gays, uh, the best kind of people. Um, obviously he's not. He's very intolerant, but he 
makes out like he's the best kind of guy, so he's going to say he loves the gays. Amazing. But you and Smithers, disgusting. So he's saying because Mr. Smithers and Burns, obviously they've got a very close relationship. It's the boss and his right-hand man. Uh, and there's a, there's actually a, um, a Your Favourite Martian. It's a, a Smithers love song, and it's him professing his love to Mr. Burns. Because it's always there. It's a bit weird, like... They sort of are together, but they're not, sort of thing. So he's like, so I'm all for gay rights, but you and Smithers? Disgusting. Nah, no, no, I'm not for that. He's the best kind of people, trust me. I'm all for gay rights, but you and Smithers disgust. They're inferior, weak and reckless, I'm serious. <laughs> I do not negotiate with T-Rex's period. <laughs> nice. So, um, you're weak and inferior, just saying he's better, he's stronger, he's bigger man, he's He's much better than Burns. Uh, but then, um, I'm serious. So if you look at the how it was captioned, it's Syria S. So obviously, Syria, the war that was going on there and stuff. So he's like, I'm serious. And then he plays off it. I don't, I don't negotiate with T-Rexes, period. So, early on, it's like, he's like, he doesn't negotiate with Burns because Burns is a T-Rex. He's old. He's calling him a fossil. He's saying he's a very old man. But... This goes back to the old Donald Trump line where he goes, I don't, I don't know how to negotiate with terrorists, period. I do not negotiate with terrorists, period. And that's what he says. So he's changed it to, I do not negotiate with T-Rexes, period. Calling Mr. Burns old and a T-Rex. And also he's playing off the serious, Syria line, saying for serious, um, linking those two lines together. Very nice. Very good. So, yeah, um, you're fired. Obviously, he did do The Apprentice. Uh, so, the catchphrase it was, you're fired. That's, that's, that's the catchphrase of The Apprentice. So, yeah, you're fired. Um, your show is dead. I mean, it did actually get cancelled, The Simpsons, in 2020. They have now brought it back and renewed it again. But yeah, it did actually get cancelled, so he's like, your show's dead, people are bored of it. They don't want any more of it. There we go. I love it. So Smithers, who is this orange orange buffoon? Because obviously he's a bit of a buffoon, Trump, and he's orange. Orange skin, so he's playing on that. Um, but then, um, he's a nuisance. Wrong. So obviously uh, Donald Trump, known for in the elections, he kept like in the uh, in the debates. He was um, he'd interrupt. He wouldn't let these his opposition speak. He'd interrupt while they were speaking. So uh, is he a um, thing of my PowerPoint? It surely he's a product of my PowerPoint solution. So obviously he has a nuclear power plant and he's known for dumping it in rivers and shit. Like he doesn't dispose of it properly. So it's like he must be this. And then again, wrong, interrupted again, like he did in the presidential debate. Very good. Also, why is, is Smithers checking out his butt, making sure it looks good for a for a for old Burnsy boy there. <laughs> Who is this orange buffoon? He's a nuisance. Yeah. Surely he's the result of my power plant's pollution. Yeah. Don't think he'd not be with those tiny things. He must be crazy. And there won't fall victim to even more shots from a crybaby. <laughs> so, you think he'd not go with those little, with those small little things. So obviously there's a the whole joke of um, Donald Trump has tiny hands. Because obviously... The stereotype is if you've got tiny hands, you've got a tiny little downstairs. But, uh, and they say, it's been quite a few things. It was in the presidential election stuff. They took the piss out of his hands. And it's like a 15-year-old joke from something else. So he's like, think he could not be out of those things. It's a joke. And then to think I'd take more shots from a crybaby. So obviously, going to Simpsons, who shot Mr. Burns? It was this whole thing. Who shot him? Was it Homer? Was it Marge? Was it all these things? But it was actually Maggie. So obviously, Maggie's the baby. So it's like, um, I had to think I'd take more shots from a crybaby. Calling Trump a crybaby because obviously when he loses the election as well, he cried. Oh, it's fake, uh, fake ballots. It was, it didn't happen. They cheated. Oh my God, they cheated. And he acted like a little bitch about it. So he's like, call him a crybaby. And he's like, to think I'd take more shots from a crybaby? Really? Good joke. Good one. Next one. <laughs> I love it. So it looks like he could benefit from my sunblocker. So obviously Trump's orange and it's like trying to look tan and stuff. 
Very good. To think he could benefit from my sunblocker. So in one of the episodes, he actually invents a sunblocker uh, to block out the light of the sun, so that they, uh, so that Springfield can't get like light from the sun. So they have to make sure his power plant stays alive, so they can be supplied with electricity. Very, very good. Very good. <laughs> so yeah, looks like he could actually benefit from it. So he's uh, looks less like an orange. <laughs> Oh shit! Like this, this battle, like your tax returns, you should avoid. So yeah, obviously Trump famously avoided like releasing his tax returns. It was a bit very very dodgy. So yes, yeah, I don't know if he did release them in the end, but yeah, it's like he didn't re release his tax returns. It's a bit bit ropey. So like this, but this battle, like your tax returns, you should avoid. And then um, this battle isn't like my. This battle's like my what? My battle's like this wallet. My threats they're not empty. So obviously, it's his wallet isn't going to be empty because he's what, worth four billion or something. And then obviously, he's like so my threats in this battle they ain't empty. They ain't like my they're like my wallet. They ain't empty. Very good. So whatever I say, I'll do it. Just, just test me, boy. Just test me. Fuck off! Oh shit! Oh my god! So I'll hit you with this bill, like an immigrant deep throat. So I'll hit you with this bill. His immigration policy, his immigration bill that he was trying to push through. Obviously, very racist. Like he's gonna have a problem with people coming into country. Uh, and then what's the line about his daughter? Stock so much for wood for your daughter. You're a Home Depot. So Home Depot obviously has lots of wood because it's a thingy shop. But stock so much wood for your daughter. So Donald Trump actually said if he was younger that uh, he his daughter he'd actually date his daughter, which is fucking weird. But basically saying he'd shag his daughter. So stock so much wood like a Home Depot, but it's all for your daughter because he's basically implying that he's having sex with his daughter there. Very good. Very good. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> nice. So. Uh, oh, wow. So, you run a population of folk who we said revoted. So, yeah, a lot of people, after Trump was elected, wanted to move country. And a lot of the ones who did vote for him actually regretted voting for him. And that's hence why he lost the second, the next election. Um, so, you run a population of folk who we said revoted. Um, and my, I run this track sicker than a dosage of COVID. So, obviously, COVID disease. But it's like, my, my bars, they're sicker than this. They're so sick, they're sicker than COVID. Nice. <laughs> Nice. So, yeah, Trump tried to get in and thing, but he's cut him off this time, showing that he's the big businessman who can't be interrupted. But yeah, um, you're, you're sick on this mount when you're mounting on this mic when you're mounting Pence. Obviously, his sec his vice president was Mike Pence. So there we go. Sick you're only sick on this mic when you're mounting Pence. Basically calling him gay and saying he has sex with Mike Pence. Very good. Actually, you <laughs> are. And then I've been a shot at Disney because Simpsons obviously is bought by Disney. It's on Disney Plus. So I'm not saying they overplayed the things, but they put Donald du Donald Donald Trump's duck face on Donald Duck's face. So a bit of a shot at Disney there as well, and a shot at Trump as well. Oh, two for one. But he's on the Simpsons is bought by Disney, so I don't know why he's taking a shot at Disney. It doesn't really make sense. But there you go. So, I'll ransack another granddad, call you Mr. Bernie Sanders. So, obviously, um, he's very old, Mr. Burns. So, he's basically saying, like Bernie Sanders, I'm going to ransack you, I'm going to beat you. Obviously, I think this must be before Bernie Sanders, uh, well, before um, thing he got in charge. 
because uh, he buried and was older than him. But yeah, obviously, he basically sort of ruined Bernie Sanders and Bernie Sanders didn't get in charge because of stuff Trump did and said. Um, so yeah, I'm going to ransack this granddad, call you Mr. Bernie Sanders. I be a socialist, but show some manners. I'll ransack another granddad, call you Mr. Bernie Sanders. Can't argue with the numbers, Charles. Right now they're looking excellent. So good at winning, even your show knew that I'd be president. <laughs> can't argue with the numbers, Charles. You know that they're excellent. So he's just saying, you can't argue. Like, I'm making money. The numbers are looking good. And I think it's in the polls. So he's like, the polls, they're looking good for me. Like, um... I mean, talk about it. your show, which is famous for predicting loads of things. It knew I'd be president. Like, I'm that amazing that even your show knew I'd be president and respected me that much while you're a hated character in your show. They knew, they said I'd be president, and I did. There you go, so good at winning. So he's saying he's going to win the election, he's good at winning, he wins everything, he, win, he doesn't lose. I do not lose, I cannot lose. That's another thing he said he can't lose. So I'm so good at winning, even your show said I'd be president. <laughs> Oh, throw a lot of shit with Putin's prick in your Oval Office. So he's basically saying that when he negotiated with Russia, he bent over and he let fucking his Oval Office, his arsehole, Putin's prick, he got, he let fucking Putin fuck him in the arse in every deal they did. And that's, he's, he's just Putin's little bitch. There you go. <laughs> the I can throw money and have you by the throat. Obviously, he's worth more than Trump. When Trump's known for sort of being a bit bankrupt allegedly so it's like um i can throw money and i can just do what i fucking want you mate because you can't think you can't do it anymore there you go uh, you and your wall will both rest in pieces so he's going to kill him in this battle so you'll rest in peace but your wall can rest in peace as well because it's never getting built because Mexico ain't paying for that shit fucking hell oh my god because comparing us would be like apple and in peaches so obviously i actually prefer peaches to apples but obviously a lot of people love apples apples very very big fruit not so much peaches people don't eat peaches as much as apples but there you go but comparing us would be like apples so i'm the apple i'm the best and you're the peach in peaches obviously got impeached um two times so it's like comparing us be like apples and in peaches like because you get impeached all the time you're much more, but you're also playing on that you'd be like comparing apples and peaches people would go for the apple very good oh my god burns is fucking killing this guy right now oh shit so I bet you had your... So, I'm running a country where you can barely walk. So, you can't even walk, but I'm running and running a country. So, you can barely walk because you're so old, but I'm running a country. And then, uh, I bet all your raps are written by monkeys. So, in one of the episodes of The Simpsons, uh, Mr. Burns actually had monkeys uh, writing. I think it was like the best book or something and jokes and for him and stuff. So, it's like... Um, uh, even your raps were written by the monkeys. I'll bet you a small loan. Obviously, there's that famous quote: uh, "When uh, when I came to this country, my father gave me a small loan of a small loan of one million dollars. Very small loan. So I bet you a small loan. But yeah, uh, also on that line, it actually came out that the loan wasn't one million. It was more like sixty million, and he never paid it back. But yeah, so I bet you a small loan. There we go, playing on that. You had your raps written by monkeys. Very good. <laughs> oh, shit. Nice flow by Donald there. But, yeah, uh, I bet this um, this Pinocchio with his cone nose pokes holes in every COVID mask he owns. So, obviously, he's got a very pointy nose. So, he's saying his nose is so pointy that it's... He's like Pinocchio, and it's so big, like Pinocchio, that he's, he's making holes in every COVID mask he owns. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. 
So yeah, I'm a very stable rapper. Just check my balance. So he's basically saying, I'm a stable rapper, but I'm also rich. Check my balance. And I'm stable. Check my balance, my bank balance. Stable. Stability, like your normal balance. Very good. Uh, but yeah, he's basically saying, I'm, I'm just rich. And I'm such a good role model. I've got so much talent that everyone wants to be me. I'm the best role model. So yeah, you claim to be a veteran, but peel apart like string cheese. So yeah, he was actually fought in World War II, Mr. Burns. And I believe it was when he was on duty in World War II, he actually met his cousin, his estranged cousin that he then fell in love with. Uh, but then he proposed to her and she actually rejected him because of, like, he was an e he was too evil. And then she died or something a bit later on. But yeah, so you're strong, but you peel apart like string cheese. So he's saying you're weak and very easy to beat. Um, you say you say you're a veteran, but I could beat you. You're not you're not powerful and strong like that. Uh, and then string cheese, string cheese you can pull apart obviously, but cheese obviously is yellow. Very good. So even my hair holds up better against the wind's breeze. So he's saying. You, you're so weak that the wind would think, but I'd hold up better. My hair holds up better against the breeze and the wind. Because obviously those pictures of like when Donald Trump's been in the wind and his hair's a fucking mess. It's like Boris Johnson. So yeah, even my hair holds up better in, against the wind's breeze. Very good. Oh, shit. Uh, I've got that four billion. Let's make this clear. I have that four billion fortune. Uh, I'll make you pay for it because I know you can't afford it. So yeah, he's saying I'll make you pay for this. What you've just said, but I know you can't afford it because you're poor, mate. You're just, you're just, uh, you're just poor. You you can't afford anything anymore. You're acting like you're this big business, a successful businessman with loads of money, but you're in debt, mate. You can't afford it. It's clear. I have that four billion fortune. I'll make you pay for this, cause I know you can afford to. So don't you be taking too many L's. The only storm you give up money for is Danielle. <gasps> oh. My. God. Oh, shit. The only storm, like you take no L's, the only storm you give up money for is Daniel so obviously Daniel Storm we've been through this in the Trump versus Biden thing um Mrs Storm Daniel Storm uh Stormy Daniels sorry fucking know what I'm about Stormy Daniels he um he shagged her and he actually had to uh pay her off in court so it wasn't actually didn't go to court and wasn't released and stuff but yeah he uh he settled out of court with her but he actually shagged her so he's like the only the only money you get only Storm you give money up for is Daniels <laughs> Oh shit! So, um, <laughs> I don't need to release the hounds. Basically, that's a burn thing. Release your hounds when he needs when someone's on his property and he wants them to be chased off. Release the hounds, and then these dogs chase after him. Uh, so I don't need to release the hounds. Uh, because I'm in charge in this battle. So I don't need to release the hounds because I'm in charge anyway. And then the climate's changed in this battle. Um, he, Donald Trump famously pulled out of the Paris Agreement to battle climate change because he said climate change isn't real. Um, which it obviously is. But he said climate change isn't real. So he pulled out of the Paris Agreement and all this thing. Um, so yeah, uh, the climate's changed in this battle. Montgomery... Burns. So Montgomery Burns is his actual full name. So, wow, what a what a way to finish off that battle. That's so good, guy. I can't believe I've not seen these before. Oh damn! Is that the end? Yeah, yeah it is. Right, guys, let's get into who won. So, guys, for me, there is one clear winner. Just burn after burn after burn. Just destruction. Montgomery Burns, you are the winner by a long way. Wow. Some of those bars were fucking brutal, man. Mr. Burns takes the win on that. 
Jeez, I'm definitely doing more of these. So if you know any more Freshly Canal rap battles you think I'd like and enjoy, definitely comment them down below. And comment your favourite bars and your winner down below as well, guys. But yeah, Mr Burns has to take that. Some of the bars he had and the burns and the digs and his wordplay. Just off the charts. Trump was good as well, but Mr Burns just took it to that next level. Damn. So yeah, guys, for me, Mr Burns, clear winner, guys. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that subscribe button with the bell notifications turned on. And hit the like button if you did enjoy this video, guys. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.